So I woke up this morning and I decided Kevin McHale is going to be my bitch. What's up guys, it's Surreal Andre, aka Andre 2K with one of my best gameplays so far. This was this was just so good because I was losing for most of it. That's why it was such a good gameplay. This guy had a Celtics kind of base team and um, basically added on his own legends and dunkers to it as you can see. So you know how he's going to end up playing. And this was just an awesome game and right off the bat, like I said, Kevin McHale is going to be my bitch this game. I don't know why I felt like picking on McHale. So I get to camp right away in the post, spin off of him. Oh, I'm too big and too strong. Get off of me. Please give him the point. <laughs> And now he's coming back on this end trying to take a step back with Rondo for whatever the reason may be. And this is the most annoying shit I've ever seen in my life. Everything was that kind of jump hook and I couldn't stop it. Like every other play was that jump hook in the post and it was just annoying as fucking shit. And then that happened and I've never put somebody on the bench so fast in my life. It was that kind of a game yo, it really was. Shit like that kept happening but other than the gameplay I wanted to also talk about something that happened I think recently this week. Uh, 2k patch the my gm vc glitch it still works but it don't work as good as it used to it works like um like instead of being able to get almost 2000 vc each time you do it no you can only get 1000 um it, you actually could get up to about 2500 if you did it with the right roster but no you can only get about 1000 every time you do it i don't know why they did it i mean it was ironic that they patched it right after the um what what am i thinking the uh the packs finished and the rotation uh, stopped so I think maybe they held off to let people glitch to get their VC for that but that, well, hold on first of all watch this shit he does this on purpose takes a three with Kemp and runs in with Drexler this is one of the most uh, yo I almost felt like rage quitting I'm not even going to lie I wasn't even down much but I felt like rage quitting because he was making it look easy like fucking easy but anyway um, I, I think it was cool that they actually waited to patch it for that because they could have patched it way sooner but at the end of the day, they still patched it and that's really annoying because now they're really putting that lockdown defender on you to force you to buy VC. <laughs> Them hitting you with those signature skills. <laughs> so I was really upset about that because I've been opening like, I've opened at least 50 historic series 2 packs over the last couple of days and still can't get LJ for my life. LJ is my most wanted, I don't know why I didn't pick him up before. So I can't get him for the life of me right now, but hold on, Timmy is open, wide open. And boom goes the dynamite. Thank you very much. But <clears throat> this guy, uh, what this guy? I mean, I was talking about the my gym shit. First of all, Robert Parrish is just catch. She's like, oh, guard me, stupid bitch. I'm wide open, stupid bitch. Guard me. So Robert Parrish was just killing me, like just fucking murdering me every time he got the chance. But um, yeah, I mean, it was really annoying that I was missing shit like that. But it was really annoying that they chose to patch it. Um, because at the end of the day, it's our only way to really make VC. And um, no, my v my GM VC uh, VC guide still works, but no, you're just not going to get as much VC yet. You could make up to like 20k a day using my guide, but no, you can probably only make like 10 plus, like depending on how often you do the glitch, how committed to farming you are. First of all, how is that not my rebound? But depending on how committed to farming you are, you can't make as much uh, VC anymore as fucking. I just ran right into it. Aside. I saw it, but I didn't want to believe it was, I really, it was one of those games, but let me jump right back into this gameplay because this is where everything picks up, I get it to Pistol Pete, and I get it to Kemp, and I need a score right here, Kemp on Kemp, and one, bitch, guard me, sorry, I get hype when I get and ones on, that was my reaction, live commentary, I should probably start doing some live comms, but that was probably my exact reaction, because that's some shit I would say, and I get the stop, don't jump, my gold, uh, my gold pick is just fine. I don't need no sapphire. Thank you very much, Swifty. But I don't need my sapphire pick. My gold one is just fine. And um, playing D, I saw that all the way. Bill Russell's long arms are too long. Up to Pete Maravich. Up to Bill Russell. Running the break. Defense on one end and offense on the other end. Bill Russell. And I'm lucky enough to get another stop. And I'm sexing him with Pistol Pete. And I tell my boy Eddie to cut. Cut Eddie. Oh! Off vert over Kemp. I'm sorry, Sean. You get the finger point for that one. And oh, how the tables have turned. All the momentum is in my direction. And he is just playing out of his game right now. Now, Sean, your turn to cut. Oh, my God. Honestly, this is just an ode to everything that I say. Play your game and let LeBron dunk on you. But that was such a dunk. So nice. He had to do it twice. Oh, LeBron, don't do it. Shut the fuck up, you're a loser. 
you're a loser that's what you are don't don't just because i turned the momentum on you you shouldn't just start dunking on me because you're fucking terrible as iverson blocks jordan and we are all witnesses up to kd you better not miss this please don't thank you very much come again so all of a sudden i have a game on my hands it is a tight one and i need to find some room for stripping this bum bitch thank you don't go off on me robert parish so what if i'm 5'10 fucking bitch give me the ball stupid bitch get off of the bench and if there was ever a time for a momentum play, to my boy Eddie Jones, driving the lane, up on the kill, slow, dunk! <laughs> body to body, Kevin McHale, welcome to your Kodak moment. So I had to give him the cherry on top. But anyway, um, as I was saying earlier about the my GM farm, yo, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a bummer because uh, no, a lot of the players we don't know when they're going to recycle the packs. I don't know because I thought it was going to be on Monday and it really wasn't on Monday. And uh, no, they said in just the near future they're going to recycle them. That could be any given time, to be honest. So I, I don't know. And just a quick thought: if you don't, if you have Eddie Jones and you don't have money on your team, use him, please. Honestly. He is what Iman Shumpert could be. Just watch this. I'm not just on the offensive end. Watch this. Watch this. Where are you going, LeBron? Oh, not there. Oh, not there either because I'm there. Oh, where are you going? Not there. Lock up. So if you don't have Eddie Jones on your team, put him on your team right now. That's just a 2K tip from me to you. But um, yeah, the MyGM farm, yo, it's um, it's really, really dis disappointing because now if you have a player, like say you're going for a collection or you're going for a certain player, poster count number four, or you're going for a certain collection, like me, I'm, I'm personally wanting manual block by Shaq. I'm personally wanting LJ and I can't get him for the life of me and I've opened at least 100 plus historic series two packs and that's more packs than there are players in that whole series. So dunk on Kim like you get the finger point for that one again, Sean. I'm sorry. That was a big man dunk, yo. I don't think I've ever gotten so many clean, flush, poster, poster dunks this many in a game ever. Like, these are clean, flush, body to body, boom, and boom goes, goes dynamite, dynamite dunks. So, <laughs> this was a hell of a game, but um, I, I think that was basically it. Um, I basically just got some more highlights to end the game. But um, as for the, the thing, yo, it, it's upsetting because, yeah, no, no, if you're one player, if you need Diamond Jordan or Diamond Mellow or Diamond Rose or something like that, it's it's hard to, to really get them. Because, and no, you're really going to get any VC, they're really putting that lock on it. And it's really disappointing because I know that EA would be able to make a more community friendly playable not forced pay to play kind of game because EA if you have never seen FIFA Ultimate Team it's like the one of the biggest game modes in all of gaming period right now and boom goes and, the dynamite um, the things that they'll do to, to help you like there's giveaways all the time first of all let me just oh, oh kill him. oh and boom goes the dynamite <laughs> what I was saying is just that EA knows how to you know better uh, you know be in tune with their community they do a lot of giveaways like this 1 million vc thing that 2k is doing for the person that gets the proper bracket for ncaa march madness like their winner comes out ea does things like that often and their ultimate team mode is way mu much you know more set up properly than 2k's so if only they could make a proper gameplay you know looking ga like basically if they could make it look like 2k because in reality it looks like shit and <laughs> it's ugly as hell so um if only they could make it look better um it would it would really be a fun game so I'm, I'm curious to see what 2k 15 will hold and and if EA will make out a good looking live 15 because I'm, I'm honestly kind of fed up with 2k at this point over that so you know that's how things go uh, it's just they're lucky that they're, they're the only real big basketball game on the map that's just how I see it but anyway uh, like I said in the beginning of the video other than Robert Parrish annoying the shit told me he just went nut with Jordan and, and LeBron so it was still a fun game, so if you liked the video, be sure to check out my last video. And if you like that, why not subscribe, guys? So, yeah. Peace.